action! Tap. Sup? We have to do something about Cindy. What do you mean? She's no good for Dean. What did she do now? Look. I saw her kissing and hanging all over. Her ex-boyfriend. What? When? Earlier. This evening. I ended up at the football game. I saw her and... Him. Behind the bleachers. I knew it wasn't real. How are we gonna break this to Dean? He's so hung up on her. I know. You gotta tell him, Mick. I hate this. Lies. You just don't like her. Cause she's with the popular group. What's with you? I'm your best friend. Haven't you noticed? She's not even into your talent? She has you blowing off a lot of practices lately. Oh. I get it. You think Cindy's breaking up the band. So it's easy to just make up a lie about her to get rid of her. I'm not making this up. She's a slut. Don't talk about my girl that way. And you're sure it was her? Or was it a different girl? I'm telling you. It was Cindy. I heard her laughing. I could hear her voice. All I can say is let him find out the hard way if he won't listen. The truth will come out. Cindy? I'm not here. Who is he to tell me? I'll get down to the bottom of this. Cindy would never turn on me. She's just been busy with cheerleading practice. Mickey was right. She's just a succubus soulless thing. Hi, Mrs. Hatworth. Well, hello there, Dean. What can I do for you? Is Mickey around by any chance? You just missed him. He went home to get ready for midnight mass. Guess I'm going with him. Cause I really need to talk to him. It'll do you both some good. I'm sorry man. You were right. I should have listened to you. You don't have to apologize. I'm just glad you found out the truth. You're my brother. Mr. Van, I wasn't expecting to see you out this late. I might say the same about you. Me? Oh. Well. Well, I just came from Midnight Mass and was passing through. 
Really? Haven't seen you around much lately. I get the impression you've been avoiding me. No sir. Nothing like that at all. We need to be straightforward about our little relationship. I need to know where you stand between your blood and my ink. Once one signs a contract, they are required to keep their word in business. But since you are young, I'm going to give you an option I never give to anyone. Nothing has begun in your career at this early stage yet, so you still have time to back out and walk away. But I warn you now, you will never get another opportunity like this again. Your other option is to stay on board if you feel you're ready to get serious about music. There are plenty of other beautiful women out there that will fall at your feet. I urge you, not to let one broken heart decide your future fate. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. She only wanted me for a short time. And then... She threw you to the curb. <laughs> Now, is that the kind of women you want? A gold digger? The kind that take advantage of you and then toss you aside? You were experiencing just a taste of fame. Your song went on the radio. The girl of your dreams <coughs> became temporarily starstruck by your presence. You see, young man, you really don't know what you truly desire. You could have it all. I can make you a god. You don't get the broken hearts. You give them. Broken hearts are for losers. The only one doing the heartbreaking is the star. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Don't be a loser, boy. Now. Tell me, where do you stand in your contract? I love playing music. I want this. More than anything. Then you're ready to get serious? Yes. I want to get serious. Good. See you soon.